Today we're going to be going over the ResMed Power Station 2 battery backup. And we're going to start with the box. This is the box for the ResMed Power Station 2. You'll notice first thing you'll see is the last date of full charge. Opening up the carrying case on one side, you will find the DC cable. convenient carrying strap for the case and the PSU adapter for charging. On the other side is the actual ResMed Power Station 2. So first, let's discuss charging. Take the PSU adapter for charging, plug it into the back, Line the pins up and it should glide in very smooth. Don't force that. Uh, be careful not to break the pins. Once they line up, it should glide in very smooth. Next, take your ResMed S9 power cord, standard power cord. Plug it into the PSU adapter for charging. Again, just line up the pins. Go in very smooth. You'll see in the back, four green lights means over 90% charged. The other green light here indicates full charge or not. If it's solid, it's at a full charge, as we are here. If it's blinking, we're not at a full charge. You need a little bit more charging to go. So now let's transition into plugging this into the S9 unit. So we're going to take off the ResMed power cord, PSU adapter for charging. And we're going to take our DC cable. There's a little protector here. You want to unplug that. Connect this into your ResMed Power Station 2. Again, the pins will line up. No need to force it. Just glides right in. Take the other side. Connect it to your S9 unit. Just like your power cord. And then you're going to want to switch the unit on. As you can see, powers up your ResMed S9 CPAP. So, let's talk about how to charge after this has been used. Again, you want to connect your, disconnect your S9 and DC cable. Reconnect your PSU adapter for charging. And again, connect it to the S9 power cable. You want to turn it off to charge and let it go until this light right here is a solid green. Then you'll be 100% charged and you can store your ResMed S9 Power Station 2.